We are doing bidirectional charging on the standard AC uh, uh, charger in the car. Um, so we have small uh, public chargers on the street. Um, these cars are shared vehicles. They are all over the city. We are starting with 50, but my wheels will grow this fleet in Utrecht to at least 400 bidirectional chargers and then also in other cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam. Um, and all those batteries, all those cars will act as a grid balancing surface when they're not being used for driving. So you should see it as a large virtual power plant providing grid services, providing storage for renewable energy, which we have a lot of in the Netherlands. We are the leading country in the world on solar at, at this moment. Um, so this really relieves the grid and really helps going forward to a renewable energy system. And what is your end game? Do you want to promote the ideas, the technology of V2G, not only in the Netherlands, but also across Europe? Yeah, th this is not a, a Dutch party. I, I mean, the Netherlands is a perfect country to launch this, as we are massively investing in renewables. We are the number one country with the most solar panels per inhabitant in the world. Any country will come to a point where they need storage at a massive scale available to finish the energy transition, to make renewables available 24-7, to lower the peaks on the grid. And therefore, batteries can have an important part. And we think that car batteries will be one of the most um, attractive um, assets to use for that. How big do you think the market will be? Uh, this will be a multi-billion uh, uh, euro market, definitely. Yeah. So you have to understand cars are standing still like for 90, 95% of the time. And all you need to do is just plug them into the energy system. That's all you need to do. And when you plug it in, the energy and the money start flowing. And the car is just sitting there anyway. So if you can provide a not so expensive charger, as we are doing here on AC, and you bring this technology to a mass market scale, it's just plugging in and the money starts flowing. That's that's basically the whole concept. The battery is already there, the battery is already paid for, and you just created an extra business case on top. And that's, uh, we think, a multi-billion uh, euro market uh, in the future. And what is the response to, let's say, criticism that this is niche and this is unreliable? I would not call it a niche. It's just getting the right technology in all the new EVs available, and then it will suddenly help the grid and the energy transition in a massive way. We should not forget that like more than 90% of battery production in the world is going to EVs. We need those batteries. Without those batteries, the energy transition will slow down at such a rate that it will not be uh, in time for the goals we have regarding climate, but also prices of the energy transition will get too high. Um, so this is not a nice to have. It's a must-have, and that's also why we are very happy that we are going to do this large first rollout in Europe. Yeah, that was the company called We Drive Solar, and the CEO told me they would showcase the technology of bidirectional charging at the upcoming EVS 38 uh, sum summit in Sweden. So, so am I understanding it correctly that you park your car and the power in your electric car is then shared with other cars? Mm -hmm. So your car doesn't only take power, it also shares power? You're right. It's a new technology called V2G, that is a vehicle to grid. And basically it means you are turning all of those electric vehicles into power banks on wheels. That is amazing. <laughs>